You should rest. I can't. Think about uh, how happy your mother will be to see you. To have you back in her life. Assuming it's not too late. Don't think that way. But I put her through so much. Letting her think that I died. And then she finally learns that I'm alive and I disappear again. God. I just pray. I just pray there's enough time for me to tell her how sorry I am. You know she would if she could. Anything? No. Listen, have you let Ridge know? No, no, I should. You know, let me, let me do it. You'll stay with her? Yeah. Sally, it's enough drama already. We got the point. You come back to us now. I just don't get you and Massimo. Yeah, well, he doesn't get you and me either, so I guess you're even. No, seriously. Why do you put up with him? Because he's my boss. Well, that was your choice. Ridge, I'm just trying to understand. You come in here complaining how crazy he makes you. I guess in his own weird way, he's just trying to protect me. Right. Hello? Hey, Ridge, it's me. Hey, Thorne, what's up? I didn't know if you had heard yet. Heard what? It's Sally, Ridge. She's... she had a heart attack. What? Oh, man. Is she gonna be okay? They don't know. They did an angioplasty, and we're just waiting to see. Is there anything I can do? No, no. Um, I just thought that you'd want to know. Yeah. Yeah, okay, thanks. Thanks, Thorne. What is it, Rich? What happened? So my luck's gonna change, huh? Yes, well... Couldn't get worse, how could it? It can always get worse. Mm -hmm. It could also get better. Of course, if you would be willing to work for it. Oh, that's so sweet. Did you come down here to offer me a job? Oh, God, is that a joke? Look at you. You're a drunken mess. Who's going to give you a job? No one pays attention to you, not even Brooke. What the hell do you know about Brooke? Never mind what I know about Brooke. Just know that I know everything. What do you want? What, what are you doing here? What do you want from me, huh? I'll tell you, Deacon. <clears throat> I'm curious, huh? That's the funny thing about curiosity. Huh? Killed the cat. Killed. I'm looking at someone who had the world in the palm of his hand. The woman that he loved. Newborn child. Exciting career. And look what happened. You're sitting here. How could you let this happen? Tell me something. How far would you be willing to go to get it back?
Got a hold of Rich? Yeah. Is there anybody else who should know? Yeah. Macy. It would make all the difference in the world to have her here. Why the hell didn't she come back? Kara, you could not have known what would happen to your mother. And you're going to her now. Plus, you're bringing a wonderful gift. A handsome new son-in-law. <laughs> Think she like you? She'll love you. Because you love me. Enough to give up everything you know and come halfway around the world. Where else would I be, except with my wife? What would I do to get Brooke back, huh? Let me ask you something. What the hell difference does that make to you? None at all. I mean, you're selling something. What might that be? Sure, yeah. Doesn't matter though, because I ain't buying. <laughs> that's very clever, Deacon. Oh, that's me. That's me, baby. I'm clever, huh? <laughs> I ain't nobody's pawn. No, no. Well, maybe Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, my friend, I think that Brooke is a pawn. Yours? <sighs> Ridges. Ah. That's the way you see it, huh? Yeah, that's that's the way I see it. Yeah. He'll get bored with her. She'll come running back the same way she always does, huh? <laughs> so when that happens, as you say, she's gonna come running back to you. I mean, that's the plan. This is, this is with a plan. There's no, there's no plan. It certainly is not. It's the wishful thinking of a drunken sap. Ouch. It's uh, a Sally. She uh, she had a heart attack. Oh my God! Is it serious? I don't know if she's gonna make it. Do you have to go? What? To the hospital. No, she's probably got this the whole Spectre gang over there, and I'd just be getting in the way. Oh, Ridge, that's not true. Look, I think I'm gonna go to, over to Spectra and just see if things are okay. Ridge, what's going on? I told you. No, I, I mean, with you. I don't know if she's gonna make it. It's her, uh, her heart and they, they just... Oh my God, Ridge. It's like Taylor. Oh, I'm sorry. Attack. She's been under a lot of stress, and it's, uh, it's really no connection at all. Except that it's one more person in your life who may not be there tomorrow. I can't tell the girls. They're already terrified. They're having nightmares, and I'm going to disappear and leave them alone. I keep telling them over and over that I'm always going to be there. I can't guarantee something like that. Nobody can guarantee that. It seems like you can't depend on anyone or anything anymore. I never used to think about stuff like this, never. 
Now I can't stop thinking about it. You know, there was a time, Deacon, when you had the foresters <coughs> by the horns. They were dancing to your tune. Now you're content to sit around here, waiting for scraps from their table or their beds. Hey, old man. If you're talking about Brooke, you better watch your mouth. Come on, not even you think she's worth fighting for. You know, I, you, you know what the hell you're... Dude, I, went, I went to Italy. Did you? Yeah. Well, what happened? It's, it's too late. Too late? Because of Ridge? You could have blown that out of the water with one no, she, word. Get it. You listen to me. Listen to me. I gotta let this unfold. I just, I gotta let this just fall apart the way it's gonna fall apart. What? Where the hell did you get that? Oh, I get it. The strategy of passive resistance. I know exactly where you got that. Eric Forrester, am I right? Oh, God. You're even a bigger fool than I thought. I'm right here with you. You think Eric Forrester's on your side? No. He made a fool out of you. He just wanted you to shut up and walk away. You think I don't know that? Then why the hell did you listen to him? Because he's right. Because if I break up Bridge and Brooke, then I'm the bad guy. She never looks at me again. She's not looking at you now. She will. Oh, yes, of course, Deacon. Because that's the way you get everything that you've ever wanted, right? It just lands right into your lap, right? That may happen for people like Eric Forrester, but not for people like you, because you have a lifetime filled with scars, okay? You want Brooke? You want your little girl back? Is that it? Well, then you're gonna have to fight for them, the way you fought for anything decent in your life. Because if you don't, and you listen to Eric Forrester, and you let him talk you into slinking away like some stray dog, then you are one hell of a loser. Let me tell you that. If the worst were to ever happen, we would all be there for Thomas and the girls. You know that. Oh, well, they can't lose me, Logan. No, no. Well, they're not going to. You can't guarantee that. No one can. What if something happens to me? Car crash. I could get sick. There are no safety nets around any of us, you know? Stuff just happens. It's like people disappear from your life overnight. And then there are those of us you can't get rid of, no matter how hard you try. That's a good joke, thank you. <sighs> I'm not joking, Ridge. You said you have nobody that you can count on. You can count on me. I am not going anywhere. I will be here for you no matter what, for you and the kids. I promise you that. I won't let you down. Just hold on to that. Hold on to me. Enjoy it while it lasts. 
lasts, Brooke, because it won't last long. By the time I'm finished, my son won't want you anywhere near him. Losing me again. I should have realized. I just... I always think of you as being so strong. You don't realize it, but... You've been my inspiration the past couple of years. I mean, how many times have I seen you get knocked down and come up swinging? Fighting and winning against all the odds. It's how I knew I could do it. I kept reminding myself, I'm half you. I have your strength, your will to survive. And it got me through the most horrible days and nights. Let me be there for you, Mom. Let me be your strength. I owe you that. Mom. Mom. Can you hear me at all? Fine now. It's gonna be all right. Oh, oh thank God. <clears throat> what is he doing here? I'll be happy to explain. Once you take your hands off my wife. 